Hello people of YouTube, my name is Chris, this is my channel I'm into and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Corsair Voyager GTX flash drive. There is a USB 3.0 version and I have the newest USB 3.1 version which apparently has um, slightly faster speeds um, but apparently it's one of the fastest USB drives on the market. On the back of the packaging um, it does state a couple of read and write speeds. Um, so Atto apparently read it at 460 read and 460 megasecond write. Whereas Crystal Disk Mark, which is the program I use, um, it gives a reading of 430 meg a second and a write of 390 megasecond. So certainly no slouch whatsoever. Unbelievable for the size, really. Absolutely amazing. The interesting thing about this drive is it does have features that enables you to use it as an SSD. So, what does this drive feature then? Right, so the drive is available in four different storage sizes. There is the 128 gig version, the 256 gig version, the 512 gig version, and there's also a one terabyte version. With the older model USB 3.0, you could only get the 128 gig and the 256 gig storage options. However, in this newer USB 3.1 version, they have also made available a 512 gigabyte version and a one terabyte version too. Each features smart capability. What is smart capability? SMART stands for Self-Monitoring Analysis and Reporting Technology. It is a monitoring system included in a hard drive that basically detects and reports um, various indicators of a drive's reliability. Um, and it can warn um, about imminent hardware failures for example. The drive also supports UASP. UASP stands for USB Attached SCSI Protocol and it basically allows for faster read and write data speeds. Um, typically I've heard that you get around 70% um, faster read speeds and around 40% faster write speeds at peak performance. UASP apparently also requires far less um, CPU resources as well. Please be aware that um, UASP will only work on Windows 8 computers and higher if we're talking of PCs. Or if we're talking about a Mac um, Mac OS 10.8 or newer. Um, also be aware that even if you had Windows 8 or higher on your PC, your USB controller also has to support it before it will work. Now this drive will work on older systems. The drive is backward compatible which means it will work on USB 3 ports, USB 2 ports and USB 1 ports. On the older USB ports 
um, if you're using the drive with them it just means that the drive will work at a slower speed and you won't get the speeds that has been reported on the back of the packaging the same can be said for systems that do not use UASP the speed will be good but not quite as fast as a system that is using UASP another feature the drive has is trim as well and this will make a massive difference later on when you have used the drive quite a bit um, on drives that do not support trim you would notice a big degradation in performance there is a chap on Amazon um, for example that has left a review on the SanDisk Extreme Pro um, who stated that after about 150 to 200 gigs of data transfer he witnessed a massive slowdown of the drive and he was also saying that because it doesn't have the UASP and the trim commands you can't use it as a true SSD which is definitely the case why is this because the degradation in performance would be that great that it really would affect the use of the operating system on the drive. UASP is needed for the trim command or should we say unmap command to work and trim is incredibly important to prevent massive degradation in performance and to increase the drive's longevity. So what is trim? Basically a trim command, um, it's not just known as trim, it's also known as an unmap um, for the SCSI command set. Um, it allows basically an operating system to inform a solid state drive which blocks of data are no longer considered in use and can be wiped internally. Uh, and this massively increases performance. So, as you can see, under the interface in the Crystal Disk Info program, you will see it lists UASP in brackets serial ATA. Lovely. Uh, and then you go down um, four boxes, and the features are SMART, Smart, NCQ, and trim. So, native command queuing, NCQ, what is that? Um, commonly uh, used on hard drives, uh, it increases the performance of the drive by basically limiting the number of drive head movements when multiple read and write requests are queued. On an SSD, um, the SSD uses NCQ to ensure um, it has commands to process while the host adapter is processing CPU tasks. So again, this all improves performance. Now there may be more USB drives, um, the same size as this one, um, that has these features. However, finding the specifications on each of these USB drives is incredibly difficult um, and I found it really hard um, to find you know, the in-depth features of each one unfortunately. I did luckily manage to find some information on this drive. Um, and I managed to find out that it did have the UASP and trim command support. So, why did I go with the Corsair Voyager GTX USB 3.1 then? The build quality of this device is certainly second to none. As soon as you hold it in your hand, 
you know it's quality. This is down to the really thick armour that is made from a zinc alloy. Of course, with its incredible build quality, I now trust that if I do drop this pen drive, my data is still going to be safe. Another great thing about this device is that it's incredibly small. It will easily fit in any pocket. It weighs around 51 grams and measures approximately three inches long, just under eight centimeters. If there's anything negative that I can say about this drive, it's that it has a cap. Um, caps are open to being lost. However, this cap fits solidly in place due to a rubber insert. So when it's fixed on, it really is fixed on. I wanted an ultra portable drive that I could carry around with me and maybe even put on a set of keys. And that could also be used as a portable drive for an operating system. I trust the company Corsair um, to provide a great device. Um, I've had plenty of gear off them in the past and all of it has been fantastic. The speeds that have been reported for the drive, both read and write, have been reported accurately. As you can see in my testing, it's not far out at all. And if I'm going to use this drive extensively or as a drive for a mobile operating system, then I'm not going to have to worry about the degradation of performance um, in such a short period of time. And last of all, even though this drive doesn't come with a lifetime warranty that SanDisk offers, it still has an excellent five year warranty as well. Does this drive have the fastest reported speeds out of all the drives um, this size on the market? No. Does it have one of the best reliability reports out of all the USB flash drives on the market? Yes. So that's the Corsair Voyager GTX. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video guys and girls. Hope you've had some use out of it. Um, it's each to their own again. As always, I always say this. Um, I love this drive. Some people might not. Some people might want the HyperX. You know, some people might want the SanDisks. Um, I've just basically put my stamp on it. Um, and, and what my thoughts are. Please feel free to click the like button below. And of course, if you like my content, uh, my videos, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel and I will have some more content for you very, very soon. So from me, Chris, at I'm Into, goodbye for now.